What is up guys, Jarv here and we're back again jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video guys we're taking a look at how you can obtain the Arbalist. So this has become available now with the update to the database and the API and with the recent revelry reveal from Bungie. So we're going to break that down in this video today. If you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a rating and if you are new here be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay let's take a look. So after yesterday's update, we now have the first steps needed for the Arbalist. So the first step is still classified, but it's simply to go speak to Eva Levante in the Tower Bazaar. And then from here, we need to then choose a mood. And this is basically to use the Reveler's Tonic to apply good moods. Now the Reveler's Tonic, this is something that we feel using the Reveler's Essence. And you get this by killing bosses in the Verdant Forest or by completing other activities. Now there are three different tonics which will reduce cooldowns of your grenades, melee and class abilities but you do get to choose which one you prefer. The Reveler's Tonic is not the only way you can increase your output of space magic during this event. Everywhere in the game orbs have a chance to be generated by precision kills and the best place to create tons of orbs is in the Verdant Forest as that's where they'll drop most often. So that's just a bit of a summary of the Reveler's Tonic and the good moods and how you'll be able to use those. So the third step of the quest is called a modest request and we simply need to accept a revelry bounty from Eva Levante. Now from here we need to venture into the woods and clear branches of the verdant forest for step four. Now the final step we can see is called the revelry continues and from here we need to return to Eva Levante at the tower bazaar to unlock revelry bounties. Now as you can see on screen there are 12 in total and these will range from anywhere from involving you to be in the Verdant Forest as well as other activities including Crucible and Gambit. Now for every bounty you complete you will get 25 of a classified currency and you'll need 300 of this to be able to purchase the Arbalist directly from Eva. Now the Reveler's Essence is also something you'll earn through activities and you can exchange this for packages containing a variety of rewards including world drops, enhancement cores and ornaments as well for your armour. So all in all a rather introductory quest to the event which ultimately leads to the Arbalist and very much set up like the Festival of the Lost. So for me it's just going to be about completing those bounties to guarantee you 25 for each one and then repeating the Verdant Forest to earn Reveler's Essence to eventually purchase Arbalist. But yeah, that's going to wrap up the guide for unlocking Arbalist. I hope you guys find this useful once the event goes live on the 16th of April. Now there is a trailer for the Revelry event which Bungie launched prior to me creating this video. I've added it on the end for you guys so if you want to check that out feel free to do so. But if you've enjoyed the video feel free to leave a rating on this one. It super helps me out as always. And as I said if you are brand new here be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to let this trailer play out and I'll catch you guys again very soon. Peace. Welcome to the revelry, my friend. You guardians must never forget the power of joy. Revel. Revel in being alive. Break some rules. Most of all, have fun.